Hello and welcome to the Medicos update. Latest medical news from around the world. It is presented by Medicos. Non-invasive sensor shows correlation between the blood pressure and the intracranial pressure. Brazilian researchers have simultaneously demonstrated the mechanism linking high blood pressure to elevated intracranial pressure and validated a non-invasive intracranial pressure monitoring method and proposed a treatment for the high blood pressure that does not affect intracranial hypertension. Iron deficiency anemia in the early pregnancy increases the risk of the heart defect. Using an animal model system, researchers have shown that if the mother is severely iron deficient and anemic during the early pregnancy, this greatly increases the risk that her offspring will have the heart defect. CSD can cause the by a genetic fault inherited from one or the both parents, such as gene mutation. What's behind the brain fog is treated hypothyroidism. The phenomenon of the brain fog as described by the some patients with hypothyroidism despite treatment is often associated with the fatigue and cognitive symptoms and may be relieved by a variety of pharmacologic and non-pharmacologic approaches, new research suggests. Cortical thinning in the tens definitely tied to psychosis. Subtle difference in the brain morphometric features present in the oral sense were associated with the subsequent development of psychosis in what is believed to be the largest neuroimaging investigation to date involving people at the clinical high risk. There are substantial, widely spread structural brain difference in the high risk youth before they develop psychosis. Finding the weak point in the radiation resistant pancreatic cancer cells. Pancreatic doctor adenocarcinoma, this disease being, begins in the cells that make up certain small dogs in the pancreas and progress silently, usually causing no symptoms until advanced tumor actually obstructs these dogs and is spread to other places. PDAC is not only difficult to diagnose, but also very unresponsive to available treatments. In particular, resources have noted that PDAC cells can usually survive radiotherapy the mechanism that remain largely unknown. So here are the references you can go on. And thank you. That's all from us in this today's update. So thank you. Stay safe. Stay positive.